I'm amazed at the ingenuity and flexibility of the back-to-back -back staff as they responded to the COVID-19 crisis around the world. Here's some incredible things they've done. In India, they're using video messaging for tutoring. In every site the back-to-back -back serves around the world, they're preparing and providing and delivering resources like food, cleaning supplies, and hygiene products to the children's homes and families that back-to-back -back serves. They've even included family activity kits and games to help individuals and kids stay connected. While we've adapted in this crisis, including canceling summer trips, we're adjusting to new financial constraints, both implementing relief and adapting to new budgets by reallocating funds and reducing some programming. But we can't lose sight of the mission. Back to Back is not a relief organization. Back to Back is a development organization. We long to return to true community where we can worship together and serve together side by side. We long for the day when families can receive programming from Strong Families Program, which means things like parenting classes and educational support. We long for the day when children in children's homes can celebrate birthdays and have tutoring and have life-on-life -life interactions with back-to-back -back staff and volunteers. As we continue to shelter in place, back-to-back -back wants to acknowledge this is not a new normal. As a matter of fact, it's not normal at all. God has called us to live in community. And you're part of that community. We're grateful for the many ways that you've prayed and supported us. After reducing our budgets across all the international sites by over $600,000, Back to Back will still have a shortfall of $200,000. Would you come alongside us as we prepare for that day?